So cabinet ministers just leaving the Queen Elizabeth Hospital here in Birmingham at the, at the end of the Labour Party manifesto launch. The business secretary, Lord Mandelson, is with me. What is it that is going to make someone who reads your manifesto think you are the right people to take this country forward, having had 13 years to do lots of the things you're promising? Because they want to see ambition, they want to know uh, that we have a future set of policies that are going to make their jobs more secure and their lives better. I mean, if you look at the economy, and that's at the centre of everything as we know, we have pulled this country out of the crisis that befell uh, the world. We are securing the recovery this year. But equally importantly, we're going to invest in our future industrial and other uh, strengths and our skills and our science. It's the future jobs. Secondly, we're going to make sure our public services, without spending enormous more money on them, are going to perform better for the individual, will be more accountable, and where they're performing under par, they're going to be put right. And thirdly, we're going to sort out our politics and make it more responsive and more accountable to people. I think that's what they want. But, but people will think, well, you've had years to make, for example, to make public services work better. Yeah, indeed. And that's we have done a colossal amount of investing in our public services. The National Health Service is transformed. Our schools are transformed. Uh, we have now very many more people going into further education and higher education than ever before in our history. But you don't stop there. It, you know, we're not going to pursue a sort of business as usual approach when we've got huge challenges facing us in this uh, uh, country. Uh, we do need to rebuild uh, our economy. We do need to renew our public services and reform them further rather than simply spending more money on them. But we've also got to restore trust in our politics. And so we've got plenty of ideas, a very strong uh, agenda, lots of policies and substance for people to look at and discuss. And at the end of the day, make up their minds whether they want a progressive future for this country or alternatively a conservative one. How concerned are you that you've created a rod for your own back on the issue of VAT? There's a promise not to raise income tax. There's no such promise on VAT. No, but we've made our choice. Uh, we know how we're going to pay uh, for our uh, programme and we know how we're going to reduce the uh, deficit and we've chosen not to put VAT up. We are instead uh, going to raise uh, national insurance uh, charges which is much fairer for the country uh, as a whole. So we've made our choice. We know how our figures... Yes, and but and but our, you and heard, it in, the, you heard it in the question and answer session there. People no, kept I, coming back time and again to the fact no, that there's no the commitment. The media can come back and keep asking what they want. That's their entitlement. Uh, but the people who are viewing will make their own judgment about what we've decided. And we've decided uh, that our figures add up without our needing to put up VAT. Well, Mandelson, thank you very thank much you very indeed. Much. Uh, and so the Labour Party manifesto launched today. We will doubtless have responses very shortly and we will get the Conservative Party manifesto launched tomorrow and the Liberal Democrats on Wednesday. Jane Hill reporting for us there and uh, speaking to the Business Secretary, Lord Mandelson. Well, we've been mentioning Gordon Brown a good deal today because, of course, he launched the Labour manifesto uh, this morning, this afternoon. He is to be found on...